Hello, hello, this is Erez from ZSA. I want to show you a new live training mode today. So I'm here in Oryx. I'm not even logged in. That's fine. This is Chrome. I click train and start training. And it wants to pair with my Moonlander. So I'm going to go connect. And the new mode is called whack a key. Let me show you. It's going to be a little bit embarrassing for me, but that's fine. It's part of it. So the point of whack a key is to train on a specific layer, not your main typing layer. Like if you want to become a better typist, that's for Alice, you know, the Alice in Wonderland training mode and all the other typing training modes. The whack a key mode is more for those times when you're using your keyboard as a control surface. Like let's say you're working with Photoshop and you have a Photoshop layer with some specific macros and you need to be able to hit one key precisely in isolation. That's what Wacky Key helps you do. So to get started, I'm going to activate my layer two because that's what I want to train on. I'm doing this right on my keyboard. I'm literally holding the momentary toggle for layer two. And I'm going to train on five keys. That's the default. I think it's a pretty good default. And while still pressing down the momentary toggle, I'm going to click, I'm ready to train. Now I'm letting go of the momentary toggle. Now what you're going to see is not my keyboard. Unlike the other training modes, it doesn't show you the shape of your keyboard. It just says, okay, so this is your layer two, find your whatever. In my case, it's the media back key in isolation on its own. So I'm going to try to do that now. Oh, I got it wrong. Okay. And you can see I hit the volume up key, which is pretty close, but this is really what it wanted for me. Okay, no problem. So I'm going to hit that key. Nope, not this key. This key. <laughs> Told you this was going to be embarrassing. Um, and now there's a numpad on the layer two. I think eight is here. No, I got that wrong as well. That's eight. And within this mode, I'm going to have to get each key right five times during the session. Uh, I got that right. I got this one. Good. Okay. I'm doing pretty well here. Oh, okay. My eight is a problem. Eight again. Media back, no, so close. Okay. Now I'm not looking at the keyboard as I do this and I suggest you don't look at it either because the whole point is being able to just hit those keys again on their own in isolation. So you don't wanna have to look at your keyboard when you're working with Photoshop or whatever. Just I just have my hands down on the board and I'm looking at my screen and kind of trying to remember where these keys fall. Oh no. Okay. No. Okay, I got that one. Mm. Ah, so close. And it's interesting because it's like, okay, what finger, like, you know, when, when my fingers are on the home row, what finger do I use for this key? And it really trains muscle memory. Okay, so that should not have been my index finger. That should have been, okay. So close, like getting them one off, that's really like a classic muscle memory thing. And you can see, by the way, at this point, I'm already done with my tab layer one, layer two. I got those five times right. And uh, with my seven key, still need a little bit of work on the next track previous track and the eight. Yay, I'm done. This is it. It shows me what keys need the most work. Um, the eight, the back and the forward and how many times I got each of them wrong during the session. And next time when I train, it's going to ask me on those keys again and add a couple new ones in. So it's basically going to help me master those particular keys on this layer before moving on. Obviously next time when I train on this layer. Yeah, so it's a fun training mode. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.